Okay, everyone. So this physical and chemical changes, right? So I started recording. Okay. So yeah, chemical and physical changes. So let's revise this concept. So the first one, yes. Which of the following is a physical change? Tell me, everyone. Message. Very good. Yes, melting of wax. Very good. Okay, Brinda is asking something, right? Brinda is asking something. So, see, I have already told you that whenever, whenever reaction occurs, right? I'm just claiming the doubts of Brinda. Whenever a reaction occurs, right? There may be, there may be release of heat, release of heat or energy, or absorption of heat or energy. right agree now the reactions in which heat is released it it's called as exothermic reaction exothermic reaction okay thermic reaction right okay brinda so the reaction in which energy or heat is released it's given out it's your exothermic reaction right so tell me what do you mean by endothermic reaction It's a reaction in which, yes, absorption of heat is endothermic reaction. Got it, Brinda? Got it, everyone? So the reactions in which energy is released is your exothermic reaction, and the reaction in which energy is absorbed is your endothermic reaction. Anyways, this is the chapter which we have to discuss in detail, right? Okay, after we'll complete the syllabus. Right, I told you that chemical reactions is a chapter, very big chapter that we'll discuss. Okay, so which of the following is a physical change? Yes, melting of wax. Very good, everyone. First D, right? Second one, which of the following is a chemical change? Tell me which of the following is chemical change? Right, yes, very good. B, very good everyone, right? Cooking of vegetables, sprinkling of star, cutting foods, boiling water, cooking of vegetables. Very good, B answer. Second B, right? Yukti, second B, okay? Third, a chemical change may involve, this we have already done in Kahoot, right? Yes, all of the above, right? All of the above, or any or all of the above. D, very good everyone. Yes, Yukti, D. Fourth one, fourth one, which of the following is or are true when milk changes into curd? Tell me. Fourth one. Guys, just write fourth and then answer, okay? So this also we have done. It, it states the change from liquid to semi-solid. It changes color, it changes taste, it changes, cannot be reversed, right? Yes, very good. The answer is C. Very good, everyone. C, right? The answer is C. Okay. So it does not change its color, right? Curd is white only, na? right? But all the three, one, three, and four. Yes, C. Answer is C. Okay. Fourth C. Fifth one. A man painted his main gate made up of iron to first prevent rusting, prevent it from sun. Okay. This. Wait, this is this is the two option. The first is first is prevent from rusting. Second is prevent it from sun. Okay, okay. let's see the other two. Third is make it look beautiful, right? Fourth is make it dust free. Tell me what would be the answer. The first is sure, right? First is sure answer, okay? First and third, yes, very good, and everyone. First and third. First and third, no, first and third, right? First and third. You paint your grill to make it look beautiful also, right? And dust will be anyways there, okay? Now, sixth one. Iron pillar near Kutub Minar in Delhi is famous for the following facts. Which of these facts is responsible for its long Stability, tell me. Yes, Harsha, very good. 
Shravya Tuvishka, very good. The answer is D, very good. Right, D. Okay. It is not trusted even after such a long time. That's, that's the key feature. Okay, right. So sixth answer, D. Okay, everyone. Sixth answer, D. Okay. Why it hasn't trusted C? Because, right, during that time, someone made that pillar, okay, right? The chemical, the chemical composition was such that it don't rust. That's the, like, uh, one of the fascinating thing about chemist or metallurgy of that time, okay? Okay? Now, seventh one. Galvanizing is a process used to prevent the rusting of which of the following? Tell me. Very easy. Yes, Aditya. Tell me. Yes, very good. Iron, very good. A, seventh A, eighth one. Paheli's mother made a concentrated sugar syrup by dissolving sugar in hot water. On cooling, crystal of sugar that got separated. This indicates which change, tell me. This we have studied in Kahoot. Guys, this we have studied in Kahoot. Yes, very good, Nandesh. Eight one, right? See, the thing is, what is crystallization? Crystallization is a chemical process or physical process? Tell me, crystallization is a chemical change or physical change? It's a physical process. Yes, very good. Right? Crystallization is a physical process. Okay? Right? And it can be reversed. So the answer is A. Got it, everyone? Right? Got this? Very good. Right? Do not get confused. Okay? And this is crystallization. No, this is crystallization. We have already done this. We have given the test also. Now, ninth one. Which of the following statement is incorrect for a chemical reaction? Tell me. Heat may be given out, but never absorbed. Sound may be produced. A color change may take place. A gas may evolve. Incorrect. Incorrect. A. Yes. Very good. Very good, Ragini. Very good, Shravya. Right? A. Yes. Answer is ninth answer is A. Because heat may be given or may be absorbed. That's what I said, right? Because the reaction can either be exothermic and endothermic. Yes, right, Tandish, right, Esther. Arav, Akshit, getting Yukti. Message to host, wait, wait. Let me check, this is host or co-host. 
message to host only host only okay okay now next one tell me question number 9 done next question number 10 guys read question number 10 okay two drops of dilute sulfuric acid the formula of sulfuric acid guys the formula of sulfuric acid is h2so4 h2so4 okay we added to 1 gram copper sulfate powder right okay plus copper sulfate is cuso4 that small amount of hot water wait was added to dissolve it right on q cooling beautiful blue color crystal got separated step 1 and step 2 are tell me what is step 1 physical change or chemical change first is step 1 is chemical change step 2 is physical change right both are chemical change all of you giving more like uh, different different answers just think about it na it's a crystallization right it is crystallization yes or no yes okay daksh yes so i can say that i can say that since it's a crystallization the process is crystallization right okay the process is crystallization you can say but this is not a crystallization this is not a crystallization of sugar right okay so 10th answer is b or c tell me everyone b or c b most of saying b so if you if you get confused just write the reaction the reaction is what h2so4 plus cuso4 now is it changing tell me is it changing is the chemical changing tell me is the compound changing cuso4 is changing cuso4 will still be cuso4 now yes or no cuso4 is still cuso4 think about it right okay right so it's not a chemical change and the process is crystallization so physical change okay next next 11th one 11th one state whether the following statement is true or false when a candle burns both physical and chemical changes take place true or false we have done this Yes, very good, Nandish.
second one tell me second one anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas false how come it's false tell me It's true, okay. It's true, right? No, Shatshrijan, we don't have Kahoot today. We'll just discuss the exemplars. It's true, okay. This is a fact, right? Anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas. Okay, got it, right? Got it. Next. Twelfth, melting of wax is is a change where solid changes to liquid state, right? Give one more such change which you observed in your surrounding. This is very easy, very easy. Tell me. Okay, sorry, I I skipped I skipped the C and D. I just spoke a shamit realm. My bad, right? C ship suffers a lot of damage through their though they are painted, right? Sorry, my bad. Yes, I thought that uh, this, these are easy, right? Yes, right. D stretching of rubber band is not a physical change. That's false, right? Last one, question of four is false, right? It is a physical change. Yes, yes, everyone, very good. Now, question of twelve, right? Twelve. I was just talking about twelve. Twelve is very easy. Yes, melting of ice. Right, melting us of ice, melting of butter. Very good, Devika. Melting of ice cream. Okay, right. Very good. Thirteenth, what kind of change is shown by tearing up of paper? Tell me, tearing of paper. We have discussed this. Physical change. Very good because the paper will not change into something else. It will still be paper. Now short short answer questions, right? Let's see. It's a multiple choice. Sorry, mixed uh, matrix match. Large crystals. Tell me, large crystals. No, no. You have to match the column. Mystery. Yes. Very good. So I hope most of you know what is mystery. Have you seen mystery? That's a big chunk of sugar. Right, very good, everyone. Next, depositing a layer of zinc on iron. What it is called? This is A. Depositing a chunk of iron. Yes, very good, Pragini. Very good, galvanization. So this is B, right? B. Very good, Vishka. Very good. Next, very good, Esther. Galvanization. Right. Souring of milk. Souring of milk is. Tell me. Souring of milk is chemical change. It is C. Okay. It is C. Chemical change. Very good. Next. Carbon dioxide. Yes, carbon dioxide turns lime water milky. So it is D. Carbon dioxide turns lime water milky. Right, everyone. I hope everyone remember the activity. Okay. Next, iron oxide, rust, E, dissolving common salt in water, physical change, F. Got it. Right, everyone. Got this. Very good. Okay. Very good, everyone. Next.
fill the blanks. Making sugar solution is a dash change. Sugar solution, physical chemical. Sugar solution, physical chemical. Physical, very good, Tavishka, very good, Purvi, Lagini. Right, it's a physical change, very good. Next, second question, very good, Devika. Second question, a physical change is generally reversible or irreversible. You have to fill from this. Reversible, right? It is reversible. A physical change is generally. See, it is written generally, not always, right? Grinding of wheat grains changes its size. It is a, again, physical change, right? It is a physical change. Okay, but, but, is it reversible? Tell me. Right, grinding of wheat is a physical change, but is it reversible? No, it's not reversible, right? It is physical change, but not reversible. Next. Iron benches get to lawn and gardens, get dash, oxidized, get rusted, right? Sorry, rusted, it is rusted, right? Get rusted, you know? rusted, very good. Then it is dash change because the new dash is formed. It is Rusted, very good. So this is chemical change and new iron oxide or new substances formed. Okay, got it? 15, now 16, everyone 16. Classify the following process into physical or chemical change. Beating of aluminum metal to make aluminum foil. Beating of aluminum metal to form alloy. Physical change, very good. Physical change, yes. Next. Digestion of food. Digestion of food. Chemical change. Yes, very good. Chemical change. Right? Burning of, cutting of log into paper. Sorry. Wood into pieces. Cutting of log of wood into pieces. Yes, very good. Physical change. Burning of crackers. Burning of crackers. Chemical change, very good, very good everyone. Very good Harsha, very good Tushka, very good. Right, 17th one, again 17th one. Right, write word equation for two chemical reaction with the help of material given in the box. Okay, write any word equation. So it's easy, huh? we can write multiple reactions like this, right? For example, for example, iron, 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 plus water, plus air, give iron oxide, yes or no? Yes or no? Iron plus water plus air give iron oxide. Got it? Then second, Batao, second. Tell me, copper sulfate, right, copper sulfate, see single substitution reaction plus iron, plus iron gives what? Iron sulfate plus copper. You guys can write it down also, got it? So two chemical reactions we have written already. Got it? 
Now, why copper sulfate plus iron gives iron sulfate plus copper? Why not opposite? Why not iron sulfate plus copper gives iron plus copper sulfate? Let's see how many of you remember this. I've taught this, right? Why not? Why? I hope all of you remember that it is about reactivity. Iron is more reactive than copper, right? That's why iron will replace copper instead of why oppose it, right? Okay. Okay. Very good, everyone. So, 18th one. 18th one. Lime water turns milky on passing carbon dioxide gas into it. Why? Tell me. Because See, right? Calcium, lime water is, yes, lime water is calcium hydroxide, yes or no? Just think about this. Plus CO2, it forms calcium carbonate, it forms calcium carbonate, CSO3, right? Okay, and this is white in color. Got it? So you can say that, right, lime water on passing, say carbon dioxide through it forms calcium carbonate, which is white in color. That's why it turns lime water milky. Got it, everyone? Tell me, got it? Right? Got it? See, Lime water is calcium hydroxide. Okay, this is a reaction that you have to remember, Tavishka. Calcium hydroxide, when react with carbon dioxide, gives calcium carbonate plus H2O. Okay, right? So this calcium hydroxide is white in color. Okay, this calcium, sorry, calcium carbonate is white in color. That's why it's turned white, lime water milky. Okay, got it. Ragini got this. Okay. Everyone got this? Esther, Arav, Akshit, Yukti. Okay, Esther, I'll repeat. I'll repeat. No, no worries. I'll repeat once again. Okay. So, yes, so you can say that, you can say that lime water turns milky on passing carbon dioxide because it forms white precipitate of calcium carbonate, okay, white precipitate of calcium carbonate. Got it? Got it? Yes, Daksh. Calcium dioxide plus carbon dioxide gives calcium carbonate plus water. Okay? Esther, very good. Right? Anyone who didn't get it yet, tell me. So this is the reaction. You have to write like this. Okay, so Purvi, you can write that lime water turns milk on passing carbon dioxide gas into it because it forms it forms white precipitate of calcium bicarbonate. White precipitate of calcium carbonate. Calcium 
carbonate. Okay, formula is CaCO3. Okay, got it? Okay, second one. Bubbles are produced when acetic acid is added to a solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Why? So this is, these are the reactions, right? These are the reactions, okay? So you have to remember these kind of questions might be asked in the exam. So if you see this, if you see this, right? Bubbles are formed, right? So obviously if bubbles are forming means some, some gas is forming, yes or no? Some gas is forming. Right? So, I'll, yes, very good, Ragni. CO2, right? You can just write down the reaction. Reaction is sodium hydrogen carbonate. So, I'll just write the formula NaHCO3. This is sodium hydrogen carbonate plus acetic acid. So, it is acid plus base neutralization reaction. But what is what will be forming? Tell me, right? It will form NaCO3, sodium carbonate plus H2O plus CO2 plus CO2, okay? So this is the reaction, everyone, please write down this reaction. Everyone, please write down this reaction, okay? So you can see that we have carbon dioxide as a gas, right? Yes, Purvi. Okay? So this carbon dioxide as a gas try to escape, okay? Which makes the bubble, okay? Right, everyone? Okay, next. Give two examples for each of the following cases. Physical change which are reversible. I hope all of you can do that, right? Physical change which is reversible. Melting of ice, right? Folding of cloth, right? Melting of butter. Yes, melting of wax. Second, physical change which is not reversible. Burning, tell me, breaking of, breaking of bottle, right? Rusting a balloon, yes, very good. Cutting a tree, tearing a paper, everything is re irreversible. Okay, next. Chemical changes, so chemical changes, easy. Chemical changes, everyone is already know all different type of chemical changes. Now, next, give an example of chemical reaction for each of the following. Okay, so this is, you have to write. Everyone, please write. A, a change in color is observed. A change in color is observed. So this, right, a reaction. This is a reaction which change observed, right? So you can just say the reaction that we already studied, iron, iron plus copper sulfate. Okay. So copper sulfate is blue in color. Copper sulfate is blue in color, right? Blue in color. Gives what? Iron sulfate plus copper. Now this iron sulfate, this iron sulfate, right, is what? This is green in color, okay? This is green in color. Now, Tushka lithmus paper, the one lith in which lithmus paper, right? It is the indicator that changes color. It's not the reaction, right? It is the indicator which changes color. Okay, got it. So you have to write this example or any of such example. Okay. So everyone, please write down this. Please write down this. Next one, right? Next, a gas is evolved. So I guess everyone remember the question that we already discussed, okay? Sodium bicarbonate plus acetic acid, right? Yes, there we got baking soda and vinegar, right? Okay. Brinda, it may rust, right? It may rust. Okay, if it's water, right? It may rust. See, sound is produced. So sound is produced, tell me. 
crackers, right? Yes. Or the one video that I have shown. But for you, just write five crackers, okay? Very good, everyone. Next. Next, question number 21. If you leave, yes, combustion of magnesium ribbon, yes, Purvi, very good. Or sodium or anything, right? Just reaction of sodium, potassium with water. That the video that we have seen, right? Tell me. Twenty-one. If you leave a piece of iron in open for few days, right? It requires a film of brownish substance called rust. Do you think rust is different from iron? Yes or no? That that that's it. Yes or no? Yes. Rust is iron oxide, and it is different from iron. Very good. Right? So that right like this. Yes, rust is different from iron as rust is iron oxide. B. Can you change rust back to iron by some simple method? Tell me. No, because it's a chemical reaction, na? Right? It's a chemical reaction, right? So obviously it's not possible. Got it? Very good. Yes, you can prevent it, but you cannot reverse reverse it, right? Okay, C, C1. Do you think that formation of rust from iron is chemical change? Yes, obviously, right? Right, everyone? Give two other examples of similar type of changes. Tell me. So obviously, rusting does not only occur in, tell me. Okay, this is a chemical change, right? So I need to chemical change, I need to chemical change. Soaring of curd, right? Burning of firecracker, right? Burning of magnesium ribbon, okay? Yes. Right, very good, Purvi. Okay, very good, Devika. Next, question number 22. So I guess question number 22 is the last question. A student took a solution of copper sulfate in a beaker and put a clean iron. So this is very easy. We have already done this, right? What changes do you expect? Tell me. First, color. What will happen? What changes do we expect? The color changes from blue to green. Yes or no? Yes. Very good, Devika, right? So you can say that the color of the solution changes from blue to green, right? Okay. Right? Second, are these changes chemical in nature? Yes, it is a chemical in nature. Word equation, I hope all of you know the word equation of this reaction, right? No Purvi, no S3 doesn't rust, right? It form another substance, right? Copper sulfate react with iron to form iron sulfate plus copper, okay? Got it, Esther? Okay, so everyone got this? Okay, very good. So this was the exemplar of physical and chemical changes, right? Give me two minutes. We will start the exemplar of